Well, let's start with the top story at the hour. The UK has a new prime minister. He has been called the Brexit cheerleader and will now take over as a prime minister of the United Kingdom because of the Brexit mess. Following a heated leadership contest, uh, Boris Johnson was elected as the leader of the Conservative Party, which means he now takes over as Prime Minister of the UK, replacing Theresa May. Johnson won more than 92,000 votes. That's 66% of the votes. He defeated Jeremy Hunt in the race to the top job. The number of votes given to each candidate was as follows. Jeremy Hunt, 46,656. Boris Johnson, 92,153. And therefore, I give notice that Boris Johnson is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Moments after he was elected, Boris Johnson began his victory speech by calling Hunt a formidable opponent and thanked Theresa May for her service. Uh, I, our ideals, but I want to begin by thanking my opponent, Jeremy, by common consent, an absolutely formidable campaigner and a great leader and a great politician. Jeremy, in the course of 20 hustings, in more, I mean 20 hustings or hustings style events, it was more than 3,000 miles, by the way, it was about 7,000 miles uh, that we did crisscrossing uh, the country. You've been friendly, you've been good-natured, you've been a font of excellent ideas, all of which I propose to steal uh, <laughs> forthwith. Well, I want to thank our outgoing leader, Theresa May, for her extraordinary service to this party and to this country. It was a, a privilege. But Boris Johnson is well aware that the real battle has only just begun. He admitted that there will be many doubting if he is fit to lead and questioning the wisdom of those who elected him. I know that there will be people around the place who will question the wisdom of your decision. Uh, and there may even be some people here who still wonder what, quite what they have done. And I would just point out to you that, of course, nobody, no one party, no one person has a monopoly of wisdom. But if you look at the history of the last 200 years of this party's existence, you will see that it is we Conservatives who have had the best insights, I think, into human nature. Apart from being the mayor of London and the British foreign secretary, the journalist turned politician has also been a vocal critic of the European Union. No surprises then that Johnson was the face of the official Brexit campaign in 2016. He had said back then that he will be advocating vote leave because he wanted a better deal for the people of this country to save them money and to take control. In an early interview with the Sunday Times, Johnson refused to pay the billion Brexit divorce bill. He had a strong condition that the terms of the UK's the exit camera. from the EU should improve. On Tuesday, he reminded the people of the UK that his mantra will be to deliver Brexit and ensure the UK leaves the EU by the 31st of October. No incoming leader has ever faced such a daunting set of circumstances, it said. Well, I look at you this morning and I ask myself, do you look daunted? Do you feel daunted? I don't think, I don't think you look remotely daunted uh, to me. And I think that we know that we can do it and that the people of this country are trusting in us to do it and we know that we will do it. And we know the mantra of the campaign that has just gone by. In case you've forgotten it, you probably have. It's always a couple of... It is... Deliver Brexit, unite the country and defeat Jeremy Corbyn. The Brexit battle has been long and messy. It began on the 23rd of June 2016 after the people of the UK voted to leave the European Union. Brexit has already claimed two prime ministers, David Cameron and Theresa May. UK has now a new leader taking charge of the divorce proceedings. 
but the sticky issues will remain. Within moments of being elected, Boris Johnson received his first setback. The European Union shot down Johnson's Brexit plan with a clear message that the bloc is in no mood to renegotiate. Theresa May tried thrice to get her Brexit deal approved by the parliament, but failed. She saw no confidence votes and rebellion from within her own party. Can Johnson succeed where Theresa May failed? The people of UK are waiting to find out.